Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a haul for you. It's been a long time since I've done a haul. I do a lot of unboxings on my Snapchat with just new products or stuff being sent to me. And if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, I will put like a little picture here that you guys can screenshot or, or you can do it by username. It's Trina Dura, one or the other. I have a lot of good stuff to show you and I did a little shopping at the Sephora VIB sale. So I'm gonna get to that in a few seconds, but I also have have just a bunch of products that companies have sent me and I'm including the ones that really perked my interest and the stuff that I wanted to show you out of the bunch so yeah without further ado because I have a lot of products to show you let's get started with the Sephora stuff so the first thing is a foundation and I'm so excited because um, my last review video which was the I'm blanking I'm blanking Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I bought that during the Sephora VIB sale. I'm not going to include that today. Just go and watch the review. That's why I made it for you guys. But during that, at the end, I said, let me know what other foundations you want to see me review. And everybody wanted to see the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It's a two-in-one. I wanted to try it because of... Candy Johnson and Nicole Guerrero. It made their skin look flawless. And, you know, I'm going to be honest, I haven't used anything from Clinique since ever. Like, I've just never really been a Clinique girl. I remember when I used to work in department stores, I worked right across from it, and I would always look at the stuff and just be like, yes! But I give it a shot with this foundation, and I will be doing a review so you guys don't even have to tell me that's why I bought it. But let's just say I have really good things to say about it, and that's all I'm going to say because I want you guys to stay tuned for this review video that I'm going to do. So yeah, that was my first item. And then I also bought these guys. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent, and I have heard so many good things about this powder and let's just say I'm still really unsure as to how to use it because every time I do it I feel like maybe I overdo the application and my face is just super cakey. I've tried applying it with a brush. I've tried applying it with the beauty blender. I've read reviews on how you guys like to use it. I'm just unsure. Like there's some days where I use it and it looks pretty good and I'm like okay I got it I love it and then the next day I'll use it and it just looks terrible and I'm like what am I doing wrong I tried this under the eyes and then I've also tried the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder and from what I understand this is for under your eyes to help brighten and get rid of that darkness and I've tried this too and I'm still not really sure how I feel about it either I don't know like I said, I would love for your guys' input because if I'm using it the wrong way, that would suck. And these are pretty pricey powders. Then I also picked up the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Oh, I love this stuff. I received the first one in my gift bag from the Masterclass with Makeup by Mario. I went to that last summer in LA and I got this big gift bag and one of the items in there was this and it just made your skin look beautiful. It was a little size. I just so happen to have it sitting right here because this is desk. You don't even want to see it. But I've used it. Oh, there's a little bit in there. But I used pretty much all of it up. So I wanted to buy the bigger version of it. This stuff is pretty pricey. It goes for like $57. But man, does it make your skin look amazing. So after your skin is all set and you're pretty much ready to go, I will just spritz this like you only need one or two spritzes on each side and you're good. It gives you like a nice luminous look it doesn't make you look greasy but you can overdo it if you put on too many mists mists it's a very fine mist as well so what I like to do is just spritz it on and then take my beauty blender and dab it into the skin also if you apply it just after you've done your highlighting oh it makes it look so good so if you haven't tried that yet I totally recommend you do that I also picked up this is going to be a talking video, so I have to stay hydrated. I also picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I always thought of the Naked line from Urban Decay to be very minimal and more of that natural look. Not to say that this is like going to make you look terrible or anything, but it actually has a really, I'd say about a medium. It could be full coverage on some, but I was impressed. I think it's pretty good. It's 
let's just say it's way better than I thought it was going to be and I got the shade medium. I think the final thing that I picked up from the Sephora sale was this from Benefit. This is the Cheekathon palette. You guys have no idea how good this is. I haven't even started using this yet because mostly it's just so beautiful. So this is literally all you need. It has a bronzer, blushes, a little bit of an illuminator. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but I do own these are also sitting on my desk right now because these are like a daily thing. I use these every single day. It's the Hoola Bronzer and the Coralista Blush. It's like the most beautiful blush and highlighter in one. So these normally I think retail for like $30, maybe $35. This palette was $75 and at first you think, that's a lot of money, but they're full size, so the exact same size that are in here but you get way more so you're technically only paying for the two and you get all the other three for basically free so I couldn't pass that up at first I thought oh I don't really think I need that but I've hit pan I've hit pan okay so I'm gonna try and stick to brands now and so we're gonna do NYX next and just wait until you see this you guys know I'm a brow girl, so when I got this, I was just like, that's all I need. And then I opened it up, and there's a ton of their new brow products that just launched. They have, like, their creamy side right here. Um, it's not angled. It's more of, like, a tip, like a pointed tip. Then on the other side, they have this that you can use underneath the brow bone to highlight. Then I got these. Um, I went to event. I went to an event with uh, NYX. I want to say a month ago and I received like a big goodie bag. You guys probably saw that. You guys probably saw that on my Snapchat as well. These are the ombre blushes and I've used this one in a tutorial already and this is called Feel the Heat. This is me right here. Love it. Um, on top, this is a little bit more of like your shimmer and then down here is more of the matte color. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Oh, that actually turned out well. Okay, I'll do a swatch for you. Okay, so this one is Insta Flame. Oh, oh yeah. This one is Feel the Heat, which is more of like the orangey coral. This one on my ring finger is Move Me. I didn't pick up as much of the purple as I wanted to. And let's do this pink one. Oh my gosh, this is called Sweet Spring. Just looking at this, I'm really attracted to these two right here. Okay, so next brand that I want to quickly touch on is Tweezerman. Tweezerman, Tweezerman. I do my own brows, so what I love to use are the Tweezerman tweezers. Like, they are so good. And for the longest time, I've been using, like, this a generic pair. Um, but they came out, I guess, with, like, a spring-summer collection. And they have flamingos on them. Yes, flamingos. But, yeah, um, like I said, I tweeze my own brows. I don't go anywhere and get them done. I do them at home myself. And I feel like no other tweezers work as well as the Tweezerman ones do. And they also sent me these guys, which are the ultra precision tips. I had to zoom in so you guys can see how fine tipped these guys are. These are really good if you have ingrown hairs or like the really tough ones to get out because they're so sharp. You gotta be careful with them, but you can get like right up there and really pull out the hairs that you need to. Um, I've just been digging these since I got those. Okay, what else do we have to show you? Oh, okay, this is what I was so excited about. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? These are the new Makeup Forever Aqua XL eye pencils. I was like, I'm totally gonna screw that up. But they are amazing. Here's the funny thing is that I've tried them out and I haven't sharpened any of them because I've used them so that they're actually quite dull. Like I'm actually wearing this one. Oh, there's an echo right now. Uh, I'm wearing this one up here on my top liner today and it was super dull and I was like well I can't sharpen it before the video it has to be like they have to all be the same length when I'm showing them to you I feel like I want to swatch a few of these right now but that would take forever you know we gotta do it I haven't tried this teal one yet oh my god 
Seriously, look at the pigment on this. One swipe, you got full color. I'm really drawn to this blue, like royal blue one. There you go. Amazing. And what I was thinking is, this is where I want your guys' input, let me know if you want to see a swatch video of all of the pencils. Just a quick one of what they look like on the hand or the arm. Water break. Okay, so had I filmed this haul yesterday or the day before, it probably would have ended here. But I actually scratched a few items so that I could talk about a few more things that I got yesterday. So I went to an event and this was for the spring summer 2016 preview for a bunch of brands. So this was one of the, the, the lines. It's clean. So you guys have probably heard of clean perfume. But before I talk about that, I haven't been this excited about fragrance for so long. Like makeup any day of the week fragrance, eh. It takes like a really good one to be excited about. But then I got these perfumes. So, oh my gosh. Just to give you guys a little bit of background, I probably have it here. I swear I have everything in this beauty room, but I love the clean brand of perfume, especially the warm cotton scent. This just smells like fresh laundry. So that's what got me hooked on this fragrance years ago and now they've come out with their reserve line which is more of like a, I just quickly looked it up because I didn't want to sound dumb so their reserve line is the highest quality sustainable ingredients from around the globe so basically it's just like an eco-friendly perfume but yeah like I knew I liked the fragrance but then I I tried these like they had a whole bunch of their testers out there the one that I spritzed all over me was blonde rose it's this one I haven't even opened it up I have to show you what it looks like and the packaging, in my opinion, is beautiful. What they said they packaged it like is very similar to like a fine wine. Oh, I forgot what it smelled like. I also picked up the Velvet Flora. A few spritzes lasted me all day. I came home and I was just like, oh. God, I don't even, I don't know what else to say because it's fragrance and I can't tell you how good it smells or good it looks or what it's going to be like on you, but... If you haven't smelled the clean line yet, do it and you will thank me. I don't even remember what this one smells like, but honestly, we sampled all of them. There wasn't one there that I didn't like. And that was my haul. Oh my gosh, sorry this turned into like a super long video, but I just really wanted to show you guys what I'm pumped about at the moment. And yeah, again, let me know in the comments which videos you'd like to see me do now that you've seen all the products. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I post new beauty videos every Friday. And Snapchat. Everything that doesn't make it into a haul video will sure enough be on my Snapchat. My username is Trina Dura if you guys want to come follow me on there. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all doing awesome and I will see you all in next week's video. Bye.